Hello, welcome to Texas Farmstead Living. Today, we are making butter the old-fashioned way using cultured cream. Before Mr. Roofer shows you how to make butter, I want to share with you how we culture cream from our Jersey milk cows. Here at the farmstead, butter making always begins with milking one of our Jersey milk cows. We milk our Jersey cow twice daily. Remember, it is important to have skills that don't require modern conveniences such as refrigeration. After we milk by hand, we strain the raw milk into a stainless steel container, then we cover it and leave it out at room temperature. The cream will rise to the top overnight. We continue to leave the container at room temperature until the raw milk turns into clabber. Clabber is a naturally fermented raw milk that over time thickens or curdles into a yogurt-like substance. The amount of time it takes for the raw milk to turn into clabber depends on the ambient temperature. The cooler the temperature, the slower the rate. The warmer the temperature, the faster the rate. Raw milk will usually clabber anywhere from one to three days. We put the cultured cream in quart jars because our butter jar holds one half gallon or two quart jars. At this point, you can put the half gallon of cultured cream in the refrigerator to make butter later, or you can make butter right now. Remember, if you refrigerate the cultured cream, you need to let it come to room temperature before making butter. Please watch this video until the end because Mr. Roofer is going to share stories from his childhood about how his family lived a pioneer lifestyle. We're using my grandmother's butter churn. She purchased this in about the 1930s from Montgomery Ward. She was born in the 1880s. So between that time and 1930s, they probably used a crock churn with a wooden plunger. In the 1950s, my mother inherited this jar. Unfortunately, I broke it when I was about two years old. We ordered another from the same company, Montgomery Ward, and this is the very jar. This is a one gallon jar. It only holds one half gallon of cream or two quarts. You have to leave room for expansion while you're churning your butter. We're gonna add our half gallon of cream, two quarts of cultured cream, just as my grandmother would have uh, when she made her cream. She had two crock bowls, about a gallon or a gallon and a half, that she would put raw, fresh milk in, set it in the cabinet, cover it with a cloth, and she would skim it after it was clabbered then she would make her butter. Now we're gonna add our two quarts or half gallon of cultured cream. Remember, this has never been refrigerated and the ambient temperature in this room now is in the upper 70s.
You know, I can remember when I was very small in the early 50s, sitting in a cardboard box in the cattle trough while my grandfather and my mom and dad milked about seven to 10 cows by hand. They would uh, use an old cream separator, separate the cream, put it in a five gallon uh, cream can, what we called it. And I can remember my dad and I going to the train station once a week and setting that cream can on the dock for the train to pick up. I don't remember exactly where it went. I think it was Fort Worth. But anyway, that's some fond memories. I can remember turning the cream separator myself until they got tired of waiting on me and they'd take it over then. It was a real chore, my mom said, to wash those discs that go in a cream separator. She got tired of doing that, but she kept on doing it. We had a tremendous amount of, uh, of skim milk left over, and my grandfather always had pigs, and uh, we would feed that to our pigs, fatten them up, and he would butcher quite a few of them in the winter. This happens to be Mother's Day today, and uh, I talked to my mom this morning. She was telling me how rough it was in the 50s, that this was one of their main sources of uh, income. They'd go uh, buy their staples, what they needed, uh, at the grocery store, so. Times were hard. And I know they didn't get very much for that five gallons. Notice, notice here it's changing colors and it's starting to what I call break. When I churn sweet cream that's been refrigerated, I usually leave it out, but it's not cultured. And it takes me a long time with this to make butter with sweet cream. Cultured cream, you notice how fast that was. I usually turn pretty fairly fast when I first start out. Then it'll then you'll feel feel pressure, it gets thicker and harder. And then it gets uh, it breaks, like I said, the way it turns loose from the butter. And then I usually slow down and the butter will stick together. So you can see the butter is separated. Notice the thin liquid, we call that buttermilk. And if you leave it out at room temperature, it'll thicken and it makes wonderful pancakes or biscuits. Now we're gonna separate our buttermilk from our butter. Remember, I'm saving our buttermilk. There's our buttermilk. Now I'm rinsing with cold water. This helps to stiffen up the butter. Since it's already at room temperature, we want to kind of cool it down and thicken it up. I'm discarding these rinses. rinse my cream twice. I find that that's been enough.
rinse your motor until it's clear. Uh, if you don't, well, it'll sour a whole lot faster. I've got a one pound butter mold. I'm gonna rinse this just a little so the butter doesn't stick to it when I'm taking it out. Well, this is what we ended up with after using two quarts of cream. We ended up with a quart of buttermilk and a pound and a half of wonderful butter. And it only took five minutes to churn the butter. That's amazing for me. Usually it takes me over an hour of churning with cool refrigerated cream. So this works a whole lot better, a whole lot easier for me. I like it. I hope I've inspired you to make butter using cultured cream, just as my German immigrant ancestors did long ago. So have a blessed day. Bye-bye.